Our top story of the week. With Randy Orton set to go through the gauntlet against his five Elimination Chamber opponents over the weeks leading into the show itself, he was bound to face off against John Cena once again. During their last match at the Royal Rumble, fans in attendance made their opinion on the pairing of Orton and Cena very clear, and so did many hosts here on PWTR. Its recent main event of Raw was billed as if it was the final chapter in this epic rivalry. So now where do you all stand with John Cena versus Randy Orton behind us? I refuse to believe that it's behind us. I think they just mean this chapter of this rivalry, I guess. I don't see why they built it like that. Like, I noticed throughout the night, they were, like, mixing signals. Like, they were pretending at some points, like, we'd never seen the match before. Like, this is going to be the most amazing thing ever. This is such a dream match. And then other times, it was, like, showing replays of, like, what we've already seen. So it was really weird dynamic. I didn't watch the match at first. I was actually hanging out on ShopTNA.com. So I had to go back and watch it. It was actually pretty good. Um, the, the rivalry, I still don't want to see it. I still have no interest in seeing the match. It's totally overdone. It's definitely run its course. It's not special anymore. It, the, the, the thing about an epic feud is it doesn't carry on. It's like one match here, one match there throughout over time. And you always have that, you know, people who want to say, man, if I could just see that again. And with this feud, it's like I'm done seeing it. Like I've seen it too much. So they actually did, they actually did pull off a pretty good match here um, in the TV main event. But Overall, just nothing that I really want to see anymore. It's really a shame because I actually thought that this was a great match. This is one of the better matches that they've had. The only problem is I've seen it so many times, I honestly don't even care anymore. I was going to give up on it even before uh, it started. Before the bell rang, I was thinking of, you know what? I think Raw's over. I'm going to head to sleep. But I decided against it, and I'm glad I uh, I'm glad I stuck, I stuck it through. This was actually a really good match, but the problem was – it's been so overexposed and done so many times, it really loses its, its meaning. It would have been a very good match had I have not seen it like for the past trillion times. So I hope, even though it's that it's not going to, my wishes are not going to come true in this point. But uh, I hope they don't do it for like at least like two or three years. But more than likely, they're going to do it again sometime this year. Maybe who knows? Maybe it might be the SummerSlam main event. So uh, yeah. It better yeah. not be the SummerSlam main event. Did you really just wish that on us? <laughs> no, I didn't, but you never know. Chat too. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I don't know why WWE tried to, to push this narrative on us that this will probably be the last in this supposed rivalry. This isn't the first time that we've seen Punk versus Cena. Uh, I'm sorry. Whoa. This isn't the first time that we've seen Orton versus Cena. And I'm not naive enough to to believe that this will be the last time. But tonight or on Monday, for what it's worth, it was a decent match. It kept me entertained throughout the entire thing, besides the the headlocks that they kept putting each other each other in. But overall, decent match quality. They put in some pretty good work. Uh, kind of an anticlimactic way to finish off Raw, though. WWE tried their damnness to make this match feel like a big event, and. I was wondering why were they going through all of this effort when we just saw this same matchup two freaking weeks ago. Then I realized they were basically begging for mercy from the crowd. Please guys, don't crap on this match. Just let us get it over with and we swear we're done. Just, just one more time and this is it. This is the last one. But <laughs> with that being said, I guess I was one of the very few who wasn't running around like the place was on fire because this match was booked in the first place. And there are so many fans who are exhausted at the mere thought of Cena versus Orton. So much so to the point that I heard talk of boycotting the main event. And that was proven to be true. You can see that right here on our PWTR hosting panel. Charlie, he initially set out the match while he was watching Raw Live. Then he went back and watched it. But I wonder, though, if that'll be reflected in the ratings. Because the people who were talking about the boycott... Let's go ahead and admit, they'd be included in what's described as the vocal minority, I'm sure. So, it'll be interesting to see what level of influence exists there. As for my thoughts on the matter, as I said before, I'm the type of guy that can be sold on anything. I'll have my thoughts going into a match like, I don't want to see that shit, but I'm always open to being entertained. And they accomplished that. On Raw. I thought it was a damn good match. Definitely one of 
no, not one of the best of their recent series, and they provided the thrilling moments with the counters and the near falls. It wasn't overbooked. That's something that their previous matches really suffered from, and this was just an all-around solid contest. So if this is meant to be the end, they did deliver a strong close here. But the question is, was it enough? Because according to WWE, this shouldn't be viewed as just one match, one singular moment in history. We have to view this through the lens of what they want this rivalry to be. This is a culmination of a storied rivalry between two of WWE's top stars. The problem is, a lot of fans don't view it that way. And I don't think I do either. Because... It doesn't feel like an epic rivalry. You have so many people right now that are, instead of saying like, man, this was this was just so great, John Cena versus Randy Orton, they're like, thank God, it's over. Is that truly the feeling that you're supposed to get with the end of an epic rivalry? This is an epic rivalry? <laughs> they they want to convince us that it is, but I don't think it's working. See, I don't know. I don't know what it is either because uh, they just don't seem to have chemistry when they're in the ring together, and and they're two stars of of the past ten years. So I, I can't really put my finger on what's preventing them from putting on these great matches that that so many other big stars have had in the past. Dude, I've never seen punches both get boos. They're like boo, boo, <laughs> dueling boo, boo chants. That, that was <laughs> awesome. But it's like, like they they want this to be Austin and Rock, and it's more like Rock Austin, or Rock and uh, Triple H in like 2000, where they just like wrestle at every show. Whereas like Austin Rock, whenever they got in the ring, it did kind of feel special because they would never sustain feuds for like six months and just do it like over and over and over again. Like you would always kind of get like a break from it, and then it would kind of come back, and it would actually feel like it was going to be a moment. Still, so, like, Triple H and Rock was a great feud. Yeah, we, yeah. I I can't remember like. The only thing I remember from Randy Orton and John Cena is, like, Randy punting uh, John Cena's father. Maybe a couple more stuff if I were to sit down and think of it. But Triple H and Rock had so There's many Summer stuff. SummerSlam 07 match was pretty good, but I'm pretty sure it ended in a DQ. So that kind of... Yeah. The only thing I remember is the song, because I liked that song. <laughs> I don't remember anything else from that pay-per-view. This just shows the level of interest that the fans have in Cena versus Orton. I got a tweet, actually. <laughs> From Stone Stoop Kid, he said, if Jay goes on PWTR raving about how good that Cena Orton match was, I'm straight up fast forwarding that segment. See, we can't even say how good the match was because people are like, the shit shouldn't have been there in the first place. Like, we're so tired of Cena versus Orton, we just don't want any more of it. Like, that's where we are. And I, <laughs> I'm sorry that it, I don't get that epic feel from it. A few years ago, even if it happened right now, I'd still go nuts. But there used to be a certain type of feel that I got, a, a vibe. Anytime The Undertaker and Triple H, back when they were active competitors, anytime they would get would get in the ring with each other, I'm like, oh my God, like Undertaker and Triple H, they didn't even have to touch each other. They could be like partners or just stare at each other. And I'm like, shit is about to pick up. You don't get that with Randy Orton and John Cena. That's the way that it's supposed to be. Like, when you have these two huge stars and they finally collide, wrestling is all about those moments and that emotion and getting wrapped up in it. I just don't get wrapped up in John Cena and Randy Orton. The fact that I'm apathetic anytime that a match between them is going to happen, it's not a good thing. I think it's a representation of the era we live in. It's just quality, just the, the quality of the era we've been in is just so inconsistent. I mean, at times John Cena is a great worker, and sometimes he's just his head's not in there. Same thing with Randy Orton. I think his uh, recent work has been, you know, kind of mediocre. Just a telltale of this era. Another thing, though, um, I won't say I'm not going to go say them something stupid like these guys can't wrestle. But one thing interesting to note is that this isn't the first time something like this happened. Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair actually had a match. It was a testing match, I think, at the Royal Rumble. Charlie's the historian here, so am, did I get that right, Royal Rumble? They were in the Rumble match together, the one Flair won, and it was like Hogan Flair kind of built that up. I don't remember yeah. the actual card. Yeah. They tried doing a match uh, between the two, testing things out, and nobody cared. So 
this isn't the first time it's happened, but at least with Hogan and Flair, I like those guys. So this this is like this is real. This this is horrible, dude. I mean, don't uh, you like? You were a John Cena fan, and you I, said yeah, Randy Orton is one of your favorites. He's the biggest star to come out of the ruthless aggression era. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's my favorite star of the ruthless aggression era, and he was my favorite until like this heel run. This heel run has been awful. This is like almost killed Randy Orton for me. I almost consider the Legend Killer and the Viper completely different persons. I mean, they even look like different ethnicities. Orton looks black now, or at the very least, Dominican. Too much tan and baby oil.